If you're passionate about video and dreaming of becoming a freelance video editor, you've come to the right place. Being a freelance editor comes with a ton of amazing perks. You have the freedom to set your own schedule, can work from wherever you want, and you don't have to answer to a boss. In addition, you can ultimately scale your freelance business into an agency, effectively removing the limits on your income. So you might be wondering, why isn't everybody doing this? The answer is that most aspiring editors make three huge mistakes, which I'm gonna reveal at the end of this video. But for now, let's jump into how to become a freelance video editor. The first thing you'll need to launch your freelance editing career is a computer that can handle extremely large media files. You don't wanna to have to turn down a job because the client wants to work on four or 6K and your computer can't handle it. You also don't wanna work at half the speed of your competition because of lag and long render times. In addition, you'll need the right software. Currently, the most popular video editing programs are Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Don't waste too much time deciding between the two. They're both awesome in their own way, and at the end of the day, they're both very easy to learn, and you can always switch. Finally, you'll need to be good at editing and understand the basics of filmmaking. You can learn this on your own. However, if you're someone that wants a little bit more structure, a school like First Institute can help you master your craft without costing you too much time or money. First Institute's film program is offered online and on campus and lasts less than a year. It provides you with all the tools you'll need to be successful as a film professional. You can learn more at first.edu. Once you've got the basics covered, it's time to niche down. Sticking to a niche like real estate, law, e-commerce, or education offers several critical advantages. First, it allows you to be more focused in your marketing. Your demo reel, website, and social media can be full of exactly the type of work that your target customer is looking for. For example, if I'm a potential client who's looking for someone to edit my real estate video, I don't wanna have to dig through a bunch of videos that were made for restaurants and rappers and bakeries to find an example that's relevant to my business. Second, niching down allows you to become an authority in your industry. By focusing on a specific field, you'll gain expertise that goes beyond just editing. This will enable you to speak your client's language and understand the competitive landscape within their industry. As a result, you'll have a significant edge over non-specialized editors. The next thing you'll want to do on your way to becoming a successful freelance video editor is a little bit of market research. Investigate all other editors in your niche. Discover what they charge, which freelance platforms they're on, how they use social media, what their website and demo reel look like, and the range of services they offer. Once you've scoped out your competitors, it's time to get creative and find ways to stand out. Many beginners think that the way to stand out is by offering the lowest price, but this strategy can be surprisingly ineffective. Customers typically value quality more than just a great deal and offering the lowest price might make them perceive you as a low quality option. Besides, if you start at a low rate and impress your clients, you might find it difficult to transition to higher rates when your schedule is already full of clients who are used to paying the lower rate. Focus instead on adding value in other ways. Think of things that only you can offer, things that the competition would have a hard time imitating. Ask yourself, what aspect of my work do people tend to compliment the most? The answer to that question can be a great starting point to discovering your competitive advantage. Most clients don't have the time to sit down and watch the feature film you edited. Instead, you'll have to prove to them that you're the right person for the job in two to three minutes with a killer demo reel. Your demo reel should consist of only your best work and only the work that relates to the services your client needs. That means leaving out all your awesome drone photography if it's not what your client is looking for. To be a successful freelancer, you'll need to have a strong understanding of what it means to be a professional. This goes far beyond the technical mastery of your art. Professionalism means meeting deadlines, communicating effectively, dressing appropriately when meeting clients, and acting ethically. Freelancers who don't understand how to conduct themselves professionally will struggle to succeed regardless of how good their work is. Once you've settled on a niche, defined your unique position within it, and set up your marketing materials, it's time to actually get some clients. Lucky for you, there are a couple of great options to explore. Freelancing platforms like Fiverr and Upwork can be a fantastic source of new clients, giving you access to a wide pool of potential opportunities. 
Additionally, you can apply to freelancing gigs just like you would any other job on job board sites like LinkedIn, Indeed, and ZipRecruiter. You can consider contacting local businesses through cold outreach. That's when you make unsolicited calls or send an email to pitch your services. And don't forget social media. Creating profiles on these platforms and consistently sharing your edits, announcing new projects, and giving followers a sneak peek behind the scenes can build your online presence and attract potential clients. Finally, as promised, I'm gonna reveal the three biggest mistakes that aspiring freelance editors make. One, creating a Fiverr profile and calling it a day. Fiverr is a great tool, but you've gotta realize that you're not the only editor on there. There's a lot of competition, so you're going to have to do some homework and legwork if you wanna stand out. Simply creating a profile and waiting for the jobs to start flooding in is not gonna work. Two, thinking that social media is a magic bullet. You're not going to find yourself with a full schedule just because you post a couple of cool videos on social media. For social media marketing to work, you'll have to commit to consistently creating and optimizing high quality content that's relevant to your target audience. And even then, it's going to work best when combined with some of the other strategies discussed in this video. And finally, three, thinking that the quality of your work alone is going to be enough to keep you busy. The quality of your work is very important, but there are a lot of talented editors out there. To succeed, you're going to have to be a good editor and a good business person. If you feel like you need some guidance on your path to becoming a successful freelance video editor, check out First Institute at first.edu. There, you can learn all the skills you'll need to launch your film career. The class sizes are small and the instructors are all active in the industry and you don't have to waste your time on gen ed classes that aren't relevant to your career. Check out the link down in the description to learn more and remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified of new content. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time.